Hello, I'm Aceade and this is Turret Battler, an updated demo of it. Turret Battler is my first Godot project. It's a first person shooter with stealth elements where you help an AI character get past cameras and stuff like that. So this is a basic cutscene between the bear character, Zadmuk, and Rania, the runner you're going to be supporting. It's not a very a fancy cutscene, literally just the two of them bickering with each other. And we will be done just about now. So this is the planning stage. You can quite literally just click start here and it'll use these default positions here. You can see that by default, player will be starting up around here, covering Rania as they go from around this area here, across this bridge. And then back out. You can see we have a guard patro patrolling around here. This is roughly where they go. I might change some of these later. We have two options for start for starting and exiting. I've now changed the start to up here. And change it back to the original just because it's easier for testing. You can choose your OP, which is gonna be either here over here or over here you can move between them but you might not be able to do that in future levels it'll basically depend basically your choice there is going to be do i go here where i have a full range of view or do i go over to another place where i may not have be able to move very far but i have a much wider view field of view and then the exit we can change it over here. Let's change it back. And let's get into it. So you can see in the top left corner, there's a kind of viewpoint of Walsh Rania, or the runner sees. And that is basically, um, the, the sound effect is Radio and the Gwelkata, or Irish language radio, under heavy static and reversed. Nothing fancy, but it does sound sufficiently inhuman, encrypted, I don't know. So you can basically cycle between a simulation round, which doesn't cost any ammo, it just allows you to roughly judge the uh, A trajectory. You're not a trained sniper, so I'm not even going to use crosshairs because I can't figure out how to do them in Godot. The other thing you can do is, are these um, live rounds, which will disable things like that tripwire I just did over there, and then cameras, eventually tourists later on. Some of these uh, targets, if they are disabled, they may spawn a guard to investigate. If they, if their systems start reporting a camera going down, they're going to get suspicious. Whereas tripwires like that, they're not going to care. They're not going to notice, rather. Now, I'm just going to tell you to wait for this guard to come um, past. The pathfinding is a bit glitchy. I'm still getting used to the pathfinding in Godot, so it might look a bit weird. As you can just see there. Again, that's this is pretty much an early work in, pro work in progress. It's... Well, I have, a bit, have some artwork and stuff, but... There, but there you have it. Randy managed to get away, and there, there are currently two ways this can die. She gets shot, or you get shot, or die. And I'm just going to demonstrate the, the dying part by stepping into the... Yes, that is me taking the piss. And that is it. So if you, have a, if you find this interesting, there will be a link to where you can download it. And let me know what you think. Bye.